This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. Geico asks, how would you love a chance to save some money on insurance? Of course you would. And when it comes to great rates on insurance, GEICO can help. Like with insurance for your car, truck, motorcycle, boat, and RV. Even help with homeowners' or renters' coverage. Plus, add an easy-to-use mobile app, available 24-hour roadside assistance, and more, and GEICO is an easy choice. Switch today and see all the ways you could save. It's easy. Simply go to GEICO.com or contact your local agent today. Hey, all it's Miles. Thank you guys for listening to the Men's Room Daily Podcast. Have you heard our newest podcast? It's called The Greatest Story Never Told. Download it today on Radio.com. Be sure to subscribe. New episodes are uploaded every Tuesday at noon. We return to the Men's Room with Miles and Thrill. 99.9 KISW. Hey, Jeff, coming up with uh, some help for the munchies. But first time for a few emails from the Men's Room at KISW.com. You've got me. Tons of birthdays today. We'll try to blow through as many as we possibly can. Old Bacholas, today is my good friend Arielle's birthday, or as she refers to it, her dirty pineapple 30. Could the dirty Germans talk about what they would do with her and a pineapple? Uh, thanks, guys. That from Kirk. Yeah, you're asking the wrong question. It's not what I would do with you and a pineapple. It's what I would do to your pineapple. Yeah. It seems like there's two targets acquired on this one. It's a pineapple and it's a birthday girl. Yeah. And who wants more than a woman and fruit? It's good fruit choice, though, because you core it. Yeah. 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 How would you core it? The top fruit, of course, would be a grapefruit. Yeah. So, I've looked at Dutch kitties. Guys, today's my bestie's 31st trip around the sun. I'd like to wish her a very happy birthday, men's room style, avid gardener, and loves everything Harry Potter. So, how about some dirty Germans being extra dirty, talking about playing with magic and planting some seeds? That from your favorites, Kayla James and the fam. Yeah, I will gladly plant some seeds in your very, very Harry Potter. And you can drink from my goblet of fire. But they only called it that because I have gonorrhea. Yeah, they like the gardening. They want it dirty. So I'll tell you what I do. I plant seeds in the fall. Okay. <laughs> Guys, today's my husband Jeremy's 31st birthday. All he likes to do on his birthday is be left alone, drink some whiskey, and have a steak for dinner. And, of course, listening to your show. So, can you please give him a happy uh, Chinooka and the Dirty Germans telling him what he has to look forward to. Uh, thanks, guys, and love your show. It's awesome. That from the wife, Ashley. Happy Chinooka. Yeah, I was waiting for the Smokey Robinson to wish the happiest of Chinookas. Do you know what part of your Chinooka is? I'm going to put my tongue on it. Tell me if it makes you giggle. <laughs> it's, yeah, he's not familiar with that part. Yeah, tonight it looks like you're going to have steak. So it's like, it's like, it's like steak. Yeah, tube steak. Mm-hmm. Guys, we here at Hazy Days love KISW. We would love it if you would give our extractor, Willis, a birthday shout-out of your choice. Since he's an extractor, why don't you give him a Woody Williams uh, burp birthday, right? Extractor. Mm-hmm. Guys, this is my uh, fantastic husband of 32 years, Jay, pronounced Snow Pig. Wish him a happy birthday with the Dirty Germans explaining how to ride snowmobiles and a fish sandwich of your choice, please. Fish yeah. sandwich. Are you sure? Yeah, when you climb on top, it'll feel cold at first, but your body heat will warm up the seat. And then if you pull all the right levers, I will start humming. Yeah, the snowmobile is very simple. You just hop on one, follow a bunch of people you're sort of friends with, and hope they're not die. <laughs> Guys, it's Earth Day once again. That means another year older for me. I find it odd that both Marshawn and Lynch and I are 35 years old today. For some reason, I always thought he was older than me. So for the beast of myself, how about Coach Ted telling us what to do so we don't get fined? Thanks, my dudes, from the Vitech of SKHS Swagger. Money, Lynch, and you, same birthday. That's awesome. 35. Well, I think we got to stay the course on this one. You're awesome. Everybody loves Lynch. I don't know. At some point today... You slam down a drink, you turn around, and you dive onto that couch. Back first. And you know where that hand goes. 
Patel says, my brother Joe's 38th birthday, great stead home dad with a beer tasting podcast. Could he get a fish sandwich montage? Thanks, guys. That from Jeremy, the tax guy. Can I get a, a filet fish, sandwich? fish sandwich? Joe, you know I got I have a right. fish sandwich. My brother, can I have a fish sandwich? With the cheese and the tartar on the side. I a fish sandwich. Is it too early for a fish sandwich? A uh, cheese and tartar on the side. Oh, yeah. I smell the fish sandwich. Maybe some you sure? Relish in the morning at noon, at noon, and at night. Can I buy you a fish sandwich? Though you don't want a fish sandwich? Guys, birthday day for Captain Ron. How about some of Thrill Shotgun gets and uh, blast it in with some William, Wendy Williams in the process? Get! 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 Oh, the beautiful gentleman, it's my 41st birthday. Can I please get a barbershop quartet fish sandwich? Uh, what else? Oh, by the way, uh, Coach Smith, uh, could you give me a little talk about what you would do with me on a first date as I've been crushing on you for years and recently became single? And can I say that out loud now? Uh, thank you, wonderful bitch. Is that from Shelly? Is it too early for a fish sandwich? Uh, cheese and tartar on the side. Oh, yeah. I smell the fish sandwich. sandwich. Maybe some dill relish in the morning. At noon. At noon. And at night. And at night. First date, huh? Well, coach is going high class on this one. Maybe a little steak. Maybe some bar. You know what? We'll go get barbecue. 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 It's delicious, Miles. Plus, we could watch her and see how she eats corn on the cob. Hmm. It's kind of like a little test, but also delicious food. Okay. Uh-huh. 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 I soup to death. Yeah. All the dinosaurs. Grab them in the biscuits. Please wish my husband, Justin, a very happy 42nd birthday. He's been working so hard on our home for our family, and I want him to know just how much I appreciate that. So could you please give him Captain Crunch and Coach Ted talking about how annoying runners are? Uh, thanks so much. Love you guys. That from the lovely Leah. Well, the only reason the old captain thinks the runners are annoying is because I've asked them to climb on my boat three or four times by then. But they don't know them. The captain's got some speed. I catch them all. Crunch berries. You know, here at Smith Academy, we win a lot of games. We win a lot of titles. And everybody asks us all the time, like, what do you do with them? It's like, well, we got a giant trophy case. We have small banners, so we can put a lot of years on them. But I tell you what we don't do is put damn stickers on the back of our windows, letting everybody know that we won a title every time we get one. I get it. You ran a long race. I don't have a sticker that says I was in a boxing match. You get it, runners. Patellos want to send Ryan a birthday shout-out. Going down to see him this weekend for some fun. But can the Dirty Germans tell him what fun he might be in for? Uh, thank you, guys. You rock. That from Liz, a.k.a. Princess Peach. Yeah, I think your surprise might be the human skin pickle. See, also Princess Peach. What does that mean somewhere? Is this going to sing is going to turn into one of those big group sings with some Mario and some <laughs> Luigi. The Luigi. Yeah, it was a group thing. Yeah, that right. Included princess and gorilla. So <laughs> those mushrooms. Gentlemen. <laughs> you it's, Italian men. <laughs> it's my 42nd trip around the sun, and this is also my first shout-out request, even though I've been a long-time listener, so how about a, your penis is too small? And a little kid fish sandwich along with a birthday song. Uh, stay beautiful, bitches. That from Amanda. <laughs> Guys, love what you do. Thanks for uh, making uh, the days more tolerable. I was hoping for a birthday I could get a bong rip and the dirty Germans describing how a perfect day would go. Have a great one. Thanks again for your time and awesomeness. That from AJ. Yeah, it's a perfect day would be me watching you sleep and every time you yawn, we play hide the song. Yeah, it's hot hide the bratwurst. Yeah. See, I've played that one before. So there was a ghost. Yeah, I learned it from the ghost. Yeah. I mean, ideally, as you wake up, <laughs> so it'll be a little, what we call, the morning. Mm-hmm. So after that, we'll hit the beer hall. Uh-huh. At that point, I will leave you. <laughs> <laughs> so they find waitress to come over with six of beer steins. And she'll have you hot. So now we'll have sex with her. <laughs> so after that, we'll go to the football match. Once again, I will run into some random new beauty and have sex with her. I said, yes, yeah, and we'll have some chocolate cake. 
Mattel's please wish Carrie Bjorn, uh, Jornimo Roberts, the Washington State Education Association's 2020 Education Support Professional of the Year, a very happy 49th birthday. How more kids in Kitsap County and have been their biggest advocate than anyone I know. So how about Coach Ted to pepper up for a beer tonight and tell her to don't stop believing. That from Scott, Al, the Unicorn Nation, and Thunderpug. What I can tell is, hope you're prepared. Got some hydration during the day. Maybe took a little cat nap. Probably not, because you were at work. Now, after that, sounds like it could be a journey of beer drinking tonight. Let's see, let's see what I did there. Uh, let's keep, you know, if we're going to start out with something strong, coach isn't against that. Get that IPA out of the way. Let's cruise into something light, something we can stick with, right? And uh, it's your birthday. I have an extra one. Bitches, today is my half-century birthday, 50 years young, and to celebrate, I was hoping I'd get some dirty Germans giving my wife some advice on an appropriate birthday gift for me. Thanks for everything you do. That from Greg and Michael Teo. Yeah, you'll have to know how easy this is. So one would think she has the knowledge. Yeah, simply open your mouth and goggle. And also, let them explore your personal Michael Teo. Yeah, well, is that on your body? <laughs> ah, so, you know, I'm not sure, but it's, it's a squim. It's, it's very near the squim, and it does not get washed, washed much. Somewhere between the squim and the Wenatchee. Bitches, I want to give a shout-out to my wonderful, loving husband, Ryan, for his 54th birthday today. He'd love to hear the dirty Germans talking about what we'll be doing this weekend camping in Ocean Shores, even at his advanced age, as he's 10 years older than I. Uh, thanks, guys. That from Sabrina Swan, a.k.a. the Merlay Mermaid. Yeah, you're going camping this weekend, so you'll be pooping behind the trees. I will be watching. As it's at night, you'll shine your flashlights into those trees and see the eyes looking back and say, What is that? Yeah, so far you'll be out on the beach. And just remember, don't giggle when I tell you this. It says a strict law against night clamors. Mm-mm. Yeah, all yeah. daytime. It does sound dirty, though. You night clamors. Where are you going tonight? Yeah, me and the boys are going to go night clamming down to the local club. Yeah, you have to get the gun. <laughs> you have to wear, like, clam gun. rubbers or anything for that on your feet? No, nah, it is not clamming. So, you know, it's funny you ask that because this German has been on that beach in the inappropriate footwear in December. So his feet were not doing well. <laughs> Tell us, today's my mom's 69th birthday. She's oh, been okay yeah. as a mom, and this is all I'm getting her. So could the dirty Germans tell her what they would do to her? Uh, thanks, guys. That from Squirrel. Yeah, it's quite simple. First, what we would do is celebrate your birthday in style by doing the 69 position. It's right now. And then I would ask you to perform your son's nickname and do the squirrel, which are known for having uh, the nuts in the mouth. Yeah, I just assumed we would have sex the uh, squirrel style. <laughs> What's that, running in the middle of the road, almost getting hit by a car? That's very exciting and fast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you may die when it's over. <laughs> yeah, and you're always indecisive about what you do next. Yeah. <laughs> So it's really weird. So low. <laughs> Bye, guys. Here we go. Happy, 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 happy birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday to you, to you, to you. Yaws of Dirty Germans brought to you by Men's Room Original Sausage. Available through Uli's World Famous Sausage, mensroomlive.com, and other fine retailers. Mmm. <laughs> Schweinefly. Time to open wide and sample Ted's meat. And potatoes. Now, here's your host, head chef of the men's room, the Ted Nugent. Head chef and a half. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Pretty simple today. Got a list of the 25 uh, most iconic, basically complex. They said, hey, these are the 25 top stoner foods of all time. Okay. What's wrong? Everything's fine. <laughs> Number 25 on the list, Lunchables. Okay. I guess if, like, if you got them handy, maybe if you have children in the home. All right, if you don't have children, do you have Lunchables in your home? No. I'm saying no. no I, yeah, I'm Even when I had Lunchables, I didn't go to that for my weed yeah. food. Man. If I have a little red stick and I'm dipping it in some kind of cheese stuff and putting it on a cracker, I realize my life's in a bad place. You know what? Here's the honest God truth with me with Lunchables, right? And there's nothing wrong with Lunchables, but as an adult, I look at this and my kids are eating it and I'm thinking... I would never eat that. No. Yeah, get the adult. I'm glad they're eating it. You get the adult one that has like the five pieces of salami and there the you go. Exactly. Not the one with bologna and Velveeta <laughs> and a club. All right, they put cookie dough on this list, but who's eating cookie dough? Uh, right? Anyone who has cookie dough. But do you have right. cookie dough at your disposal? But I'm saying, if you just have a tube of cookie dough and you're eating it, like... <laughs> Walking down the street? <laughs> <laughs> now that would be weird. <laughs> All right, Nutella. Sure, you could dip stuff in it. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> not you just free. sound very excited about that. You're not a fan of Nutella? I, like no, Nutella I love man. Nutella. Okay. But I, you know what it is? I can't have a jar at the house. Just, you I would eat it. it. Yeah, yes. I know. So I don't so get like, Biscoff butter. Yeah, it's like, all right, I guess you can have it there. Cosmic brownies, that's kind of a throwback. Barbecue Fritos, cinnamon rolls, Twinkies. All right, Oreos. All right, finally yeah. found one. Wait, who's eating Twinkies? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> this is a bad it's, place. It's, it's, Basically, well, hey... If you get stoned and you have kids, eat their food. All right, number oh, 16. Also, also hear the, me out. Number 16 on the list is goldfish. I did, in fact, buy goldfish just two short days ago. There are adults that have goldfish, but uh, again, they're only in my home because of kids. Most are only found on uh, minivan floors. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, cheese balls from Utz made the Ooh, list. Ooh, cheese balls. Yeah. Cheese balls are exciting. Now, I feel like if you're buying cheese balls, you plan on getting high. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know that's not always accurate, but I'm like... Oh. Or you have a very cool 60s style basement mm-hmm. bar. And, like, people are coming by. It's like, put out the cheese balls. It's going to be cheat ball or pork rinds. What do you want? Take a pick. Yes, that's more likely. That they have a very cool basement Cheater bar. Old. I was going to say pretzels. Yeah. All right, Pop-Tarts makes the list. Sure. Now, Slurpee's on there. I love a Slurpee, uh, I don't want to run right, to the store. Like, yeah, I'm high. Got, right? Yeah. You got to go to the store. We'll read our kids' food, <laughs> right. but I will not drive to the store. No, Top Ramen's on there. Sure, uh, Pizza Rolls is pizza a classic. Pizza Rolls is a classic. Doritos, Cheetos, okay, Combos, <laughs> yeah, Funyuns, <laughs> they're delicious. Chocolate chip cookies, <laughs> better. Half baked ice cream, my personal favorite. Half baked, you mean from Ben and Jerry? Correct. Specific to the brand and the flavors on that. No other ice cream, just that one. <laughs> just that one. <laughs> okay. It's the best of both worlds. Right. Right. God, I love that stuff. You guys want to know what number one is? What is the number one stoner food? They went with Munchies Snack Mix. Ah, oh, come on. How high are they? <laughs> I guess let's let's I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go uh, Totino's party pizza. I think that's my favorite. Uh, I know your cinnamon toast crunch probably. Yep. Right? Ted, peanut butter and jelly, is there anything on the list for you specifically? Like wow, yeah. I wish I had that. Well, I mean I like the idea of peanut butter and jellies. I just never make them later in the evening. I do. Okay. Yeah. Like grilled cheese, anybody? No. Too much. Honestly, work, like the adult uh Snackable, lunchable, mm-hmm. that fancy one with the salami and the Where cheese. Where you get the fat yeah. stuck in between your teeth and yeah, yeah. it out. It's really long, wrong, veiny. And you and won't just grab a toothpick. Yeah. Yeah. Put a little Dijon mustard, Miles. Oh, that's, uh, that's very Specifically cute. on the bit of meat that gets stuck in your teeth. You suck on that for hours. <laughs> Thank you, Head Chef. We appreciate it. You are listening to The Men's Room. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. GEICO asks, how would you love a chance to save some money on insurance? Of course you would. And when it comes to great rates on insurance, GEICO can help. Like with insurance for your car, truck, motorcycle, boat, and RV. Even help with homeowners or renters coverage. Plus, add an easy-to-use mobile app, available 24-hour roadside assistance, and more, and GEICO is an easy choice. Switch today and see all the ways you could save. It's easy. Simply go to GEICO.com or contact your local agent today. I'm Glennon Doyle, author of Untamed and host of the podcast, We Can Do Hard Things. Each week, we talk openly and honestly about the hard things in life together with you. So join us and some of our dearest friends and greatest heroes to talk about anxiety, boundaries, parenting, infidelity, our bodies, loving and losing, all of the things that make us human. Listen to and follow We Can Do Hard Things on Odyssey and everywhere you get your podcasts. 99.9 KISW. Yay! You're in the men's room. Coming up in minutes, we will drink, we will toast with a shot of the day. And we do have your headlines on the way one hour from now. But first, quick check out with Mike Hawk. And some of the stories and headlines he is not working on. All right, two officers in the UK were caught making out in their car while one of them was on duty. Mm. Duty. Getting, getting, getting hot and heavy in there. I'd like to get paid for that. Is that against the rules? I would imagine. It, mm. I mean, what if you're not getting a call? Inner office you organization, know? I'm sure, has some sort of a lunch, thing with lunch, it. But lunch break? I don't think so. I mean, but say you're on a lunch break, right? I'm off right. anyway. It said on duty, so that tells me that they weren't on a on a lunch break. Oh, I thought it was a sex position. I thought maybe he was duty. <laughs> Damn it. I thought they're into that. I'm officer duty. Like last <laughs> table. Last table. Uh, they were both 
on duty. Weed week. What an unfortunate name, Officer <laughs> Duty. A woman in Australia. <laughs> a, a woman in Australia. He's constable. Constable duty. <laughs> <laughs> Won't come out. It doesn't matter what you put in front of duty. It's not cool. Deputy duty. Dr. Duty. Ladies and gentlemen, the 51st president of the United States, William P. Duty. <laughs> It just doesn't work. You having a go problem? Go Dr. Duty. <laughs> President <the> Duty. <laughs> if he leaves office, you know what it'll be? What? Duty free. <laughs> Read week. How many These headlines? Cigarettes are cheap. How many headlines would there be that his approval rating took a dump? I know. Oh, God. <laughs> I already ran a smear campaign. <laughs> ah, yeah. Oh, they wiped all those charges clean. <laughs> oh, man. He had a lot of corny lines. Uh, a woman in Australia found a note in her yard threatening to poison her dog <laughs> and later found a strange bone that she thinks was poisoned. Well, why were they going to poison her dog? I don't know, man. Oh. <laughs> they just left That's a note. That's important. You know, we're going to poison your dog. Right. Why? Why? <laughs> what why do you, you do? Why are you going to do that? This That's... is my yard. <laughs> I found a strange bone. <laughs> Frighteningly, you can't leave a note without saying why. Because then otherwise, like... I'm why just going to you, kill your dog. Why obviously. would you tell me? So I'm just in limbo for a, a terrible <laughs> week. Obviously, it's, it's like a, a ghetto bay of pigs. <laughs> But this is what we'll do. We'll leave a poison bone in the yard. Uh, guys. I'm not saying kill a dog. But Miles, I'm going to steal your scooter. Mm-hmm. Why? Because. <laughs> You'll know. Weed week. Natural Light is releasing a line of alcoholic ice pops. And it, it's called their beer. <laughs> I mean, Just stick it in the freezer. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. You know what? Adults need ice pops. Yeah. There's, there's Mike's stance. That's right. Okay, look, yours has fruit flavor. Daddy needs an ice pop. Yeah. President yeah. Duty stands on the platform <laughs> that adults need ice pop. Walk around with it. It's mobile. You have a virgin froze, frozen drink or, you know, well, well, sure. booze in it, so why not? Why not? Yeah, seems like that. Then you don't have to take all the time it's to try nice. to squeeze booze into a little icy pop. <laughs> right. and spell it all over. You definitely need to separate it in the freezer, though, if you have children. Because <laughs> they will go for that stuff. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, I'm not even looking at the damn label. It's soothing. I got a feeling that the taste would turn them off, though. What is this Bacardi? But you just don't know. Yeah, it's fair. <laughs> I love these. A group of Burger King employees stole a drunk driver in their drive through while they called the cops who came and arrested him. Good. <laughs> the thing is, is that I worked uh, in fast food. I have known people that have worked in the fast food drive through lane. Yeah. You know who the guys are coming through that drive through that are altered. How bad was this guy? They were like, you know what? We need to call the cops on this one. Yeah, I mean, that just means you're mm-hmm. listening to him order. Yeah. Like, there's right. no way this man is okay. Right. Plus, they've got cameras on you when you pull up to the drive through They see exactly. what you look like. You're, you know, this guy had to have just been such a danger to everybody around him, and not to mention just rude to everybody inside. It's like, no, you know what? Pull up to the side. Your order will be ready pull in a right. second. I want a Big Mac. Right. <laughs> Sir, this is Jack in the Box. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? All right, give me a roast beef. Put a bottom <laughs> bun on the burger. I don't care. I'll take the six-piece uh, dark meal. <laughs> Weed week. There's a new study that says we can't get addicted to social media. But I believe this one. I don't believe that we're addicted to social media. I believe that we're reactioned to social media. I've noticed it when you know when I'm in uh, when I'm in the elevator and I forget my phone in the car, or I've left it up here in the studio. If I'm in the elevator, I'll end up slapping my pocket because I'm looking for my phone when I'm in the elevator. I don't think that that's addiction. I think that that's conditioning. Yeah, Whenever you're bored, you grab your mm-hmm. phone. Now, at first, you kind of have that little mild panic attack of, where's my phone? Where's my social media? But it dissipates rather quickly. Yeah, I mean, to me, yeah. if I lose my phone, it's just problematic. Right. Like, I don't care. I'm not really a big social media guy. But, I mean, it's just, it's not hard to get to social media, man. It's no. it's everywhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just lose all the goddamn numbers. I don't know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Amazon has just opened the first Amazon salon in London. They're getting into hair business now. Huh. Right? Well, the Amazon runs through Brazil. I just imagine everyone leaves bald. <laughs> you know those things that they would come to your house in and cut your hair? Mm-hmm. Right? We're going to dispatch a, b- mm-hmm. a barber. They'll be there in one, two day. business days. I bet you that service would work. Are you a prime yeah. member? Get in the tub like when you're a four. Put a stool in there and sit down. <laughs> Take off your shirt. 
You know, every everything that they've done as far as expansion has kind of made sense. They started mm-hmm. with books, they've gone to just general goods, and now they've gone to every doggone thing. Then they went to shipping, and then they got into into uh, into media. They're they're creating their own shows and whatnot. That was the first kind of weird one, but I get it. It's it's you got the money to do. Look, hot because you're not get. you're not the creative force behind it, right? Right. But then the salon. I, I don't. Know. It's like I'd be I'd, I'd be interested on in that board meeting where someone's like, you know what, guys, hear me out. Hair. That's our next step. Yeah, I mean, I. I well, they own Whole Foods. You've heard about grocery stores. <laughs> right, but when you buy a salon or a barbershop, then you're, I mean, that's pretty easy. Like, all right, that, well, that guy can't survive now. Can you uh, oh, right, right. Can you speak fluently about boxing? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. A new study. Are you here to get a haircut? You can hang out. <laughs> Just chill out, dude. A new study ranked the 11 major airlines in the United States. 11? The 11 major airlines, yeah. I can't name 11 major airlines. No. I've been Alaska did pretty good. Pretty good sure. on that. All right, Alaska's all right. one of the bigger ones. Well, Southwest. We're just, we're just naming them, right? United American. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, Jet Blue. people who love Southwest love Southwest. Sure. Uh, right. Alaska gets great ratings. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, man, uh, is, is I guess Hawaiian Air is probably not uh, big enough to be on that. But just based, on where, you're, based on where you're going. Sure. I bet your spirit's on there, so I'm going to say Hawaiian's on there. All right. All great guesses. Your guys' guess is as good as mine. I mean, I didn't do any of the oh, work on this gosh, one. I don't know. Right. I, I do know, however, uh, Alaska, yes, is the number one that they put on there. Do you guys have any guess what the last one was? United. 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 American that's, Airlines. That's what I would do, but no, Spirit. it was not. No, nope. Frontier. Oh. Oh, yeah. I've never flown Frontier. Neither have I. Neither have I. And now I won't. <laughs> Our life is in your hands. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> listening to rap and drinking strong coffee makes you a better driver. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're going to be I awake. Can see that, man. Definitely going to be awake. Right. You got to focus a little bit more. Mm-hmm. I like it. Uh, a parent is suing to marry their adult child. Yeah, it's in uh, New York. Yeah, that's an interesting story to say the least. That's like we're both adults. Uh, we want to marry each other. It's like, and they don't say the gender of either. So I don't know who's right. Famous, they, like, like biological, yes. child, so, yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, and they're suing yeah. because New York has laws against it. So they said, look, we understand the stigma, blah, blah, blah. We're at either change the law or we're looking for an exemption to this. And it's in court now, but I want to say it's like the DA or somebody said, look, it, it's probably ain't going to fly. And that's when it brought up Woody Allen. They said Woody Allen wanted to marry his stepdaughter. And we were still like, no, we right, know it's not yeah. blood relation, but same thing. Right. Jesus. Still not okay. A man got a salary cut Sometimes at work. Sometimes you just let things go. Right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if that's what's going on in your life, you're like, I ought to marry my kid and earn a doll. Great. Fine. Wonderful. Keep it to yourself. And right. if you can't keep it to yourself, like, don't go to court. Why do you want to get the law involved in Right. This? A man got a salary cut at work because he spent too much time in the bathroom. <laughs> what do you think he was doing it? Look, sorry. If he has a medical condition, he has a case. Right. What, what were you saying that he spent like two hours a day in there or something? Yeah, it's like not that? a medical condition. Oh, yeah, he's, was he just in there watching stuff on his phone? They just oh, camping. Say occasionally, yeah, he would just go and camp out. And hmm. the, so they were like, "That's fine." Most people will fire. What we're going to do is dock your pay. Like most people lose their job. He should stop bitching because if you just do your job, they'll pay you. Right. <laughs> Are you guys ready for this? The grammar police have come back out. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right. What's Someone about? put together a list of common phrases that people get wrong all of the time, and I have got six for you guys to all see right. how we're doing in here. Let's see. So when you need someone to get something done now, you need them to nip it. In the bud. In the bud. But you are you guys are uh, you guys are correct. It is nip it in the bud, not nip it in the butt. So I just like nip little, it in the butt. I like a little butt. I used to. Uh, yeah, I did when I was a kid. When I first heard it, I thought it was nip it in the butt, and I thought it was funny. And I said it, and my parents corrected me. <laughs> <laughs> it's bud. Nip it, it. Nip the bud. Wasn't that Don Knotts' line? I wouldn't nip know. It in the bud. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, number five. Uh, when someone is nude, you might say that they are. Buck uh, naked. Th- there you go. What, what was it that you said? Okay. Miles? Buck, buck naked. But I'm attracted to deer, so yeah. that should be uh, held up. Ted? Uh, yeah, buck naked. <laughs> buck naked. You guys are correct. A lot of people say butt naked, which is okay. That's just fine with me, too. Yeah. But buck naked was the original term. No one's actually sure where that one came from. Again, someone was attracted to deer. I Gotta feel like be. butt naked is chaps. That just, it sounds like an old hunter's term. Sure. And boy, over there is buck naked. Like they skinned a buck? Right? Exactly. I always thought of it as uh, George's porn name. Yeah, Buck Naked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not going to make you guys guess this one because the phrase is getting off scot free, but where people get it wrong is that the word scot only has one T in it. Mm-hmm. Like Scotland. 
Close, Ted. It's an old English word for tax. Oh, tax free. Oh, okay. So it's tax free. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Uh, if you use two T's, it's Turbo like saying Scott. you didn't have to hang out with anyone named Scott. So uh, let's go to number three here. Again, these are common phrases that people get wrong all the time. Number three, when, you're, uh, when your life tur- turned around, it took a... Took a 180. Took a 180. Yeah. That's yeah, what people say 360, but then they'd still be there. <laughs> Correct. A lot of people say that saying your life took a total 360 is wrong. You mean it took a 180 because, like Ted said, if you turn 360 degrees, you're, you're the same place. You're facing in the same Got direction. Yet. But why Brown. is 180 the thing? And why can't be like, well, I'm not doing gray, but I'm taking like a 90 degree turn. Or 45. I, I took a 270. Yeah, you know, like not bad. I've known a lot of people that have taken 360s. Oh, yeah. I've done it <laughs> this multiple is the times. This new me. It's the same one I've seen, man. <laughs> Cool shirt, though. <laughs> You're dressing better. <laughs> cool shirt. Nice shoes, man. Great haircut. I was trying to find a way to get you guys to guess this one, but uh, basically it's for all intents and purposes. All intents and purposes. And purposes yes. Correct. All, all intents. All intents and purposes. Correct. You're doing it with an intent and a purpose to do something. There is not intensive. I don't think intensive is even a word, is it? Yeah, intensive care. Oh, well, then I'm stupid. My bad. Hopefully you'll never be there. This is just the news segment. Insanities and purposes. (laughs) It's a dolphin. (laughs) Oh, boy. And this is the number one phrase that people get wrong all the time. It is that thing that you put in coffee, a shot of... My penis. A bad... Uh, Espresso. 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 Correct. It is espresso. And this one pisses me off more than anyone out there because I hear a lot of people say the wrong thing. Espresso. This is not express. You have to wait in line like everybody else. It is espresso. Well, that everyone says is championship. It's a championship. Right. But everybody, yeah. championship. 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 Yeah. That's good call. I say that. Everybody does. I mean, I think I do it too. Everyone just says championship. Like that's something to eat. That should be something. Hopefully, you get in Vegas. That's right. I feel like we're we're English now. Before I move on, I just want to show this one. A recent survey asked people to name the top eco-friendly things that they do that make them proud or spark joy. And what they've titled this is is the ten eco-friendly things that we actually enjoy doing. And I want you guys to tell me: Do you enjoy doing these eco-friendly things? Number ten: Growing your own produce or just herbs if you have a yard. Yes, that I don't mind. Sure, yeah. that's not bad. You go out there, you I trim, grow nothing. You trim off the the excess, and you water it, and you're taking care of it. It's good. Number nine: Eating the food that you bought at the store without wasting any. Yep. Well, yeah, Absolutely. but not because. But look, I'm not trying to be eco-friendly. It's not about being eco-friendly. I'm glad that I bought the right amount. I just don't want to buy more than I need. Right. That's all. That's money. Because it'll go to bad. Exactly. I know Ted's on the uh, on the kick of let's eat everything out of the fridge, everything that oh, we yeah. buy needs to go. Mm-hmm. You feel at least accomplished. I wouldn't say that sure. I enjoy doing it. Right, Because right, after right, a right. while, it's almost like a chore. <laughs> like, don't go on. I need to eat that bag salad in the fridge. We well, it teaches you not to buy things you don't need. Like bag salad. <laughs> bag salad. <laughs> like those bags of carrots that you just replace them as time goes on. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Dude, those bags are only meant to be eaten halfway. That's right. And then throw them. Have a zipper on them. Bad half <laughs> out, new half out. Resealable. Ten eco-friendly things that we actually enjoy doing seven avo- uh, sorry eight donating clothes or other items so someone else can use them again sure a- again but that's not the reason though the reason no. I'm doing it is because you offer that service and on some level I should take advantage the truth is I want this S out of my house right it was gonna get thrown away but right. because we have this service I'm just gonna donate it I wouldn't well, say that I enjoy so someone else that. can also use it but right. I never think of it as like wow I'm saving the earth right that's all and again, I will now I don't, saving the earth and yep. people. I don't particularly like waiting in line at the Value Village to be able to donate all this stuff, but it beats going to the dump and having to pay those fees to get it in the garbage. Right. That's <laughs> how you win. Right. Number seven, avoiding single-use items in general. Again, I don't... I don't look for it. As I'm filling up my water bottle, I'm not oh, having a great they, time. I thought they meant toilet paper. Oh, no. I know. I reuse mine. Yeah, I oh, it's like, no. I mean, what if it's a holiday party? Oh, yeah, that red solo cup. Or the uh, plates that have the different sections in them. That's really, right. Really, really high class stuff. The corningware. Yeah, it'll keep the gravy on from where it should be. <laughs> Cornette, I believe. Ten eco friendly things <laughs> that we actually enjoy doing. Number six: walking or biking somewhere instead of driving. I like I like walking. It's not huh. because I don't like driving. I just like walking. As if as it's walkable distance, yeah, I don't mind exactly. walking. Right. But if it's far, let's I'm not drive. thinking, oh, I'm saving gas. No. <laughs> it's like, it's a nice day. And emissions. I enjoyed <laughs> walking to the bar because, like you said, it's a nice day. I'm kind of working off the beer and drinks that I'm about to put in myself and after I put them in myself. But that's about yeah, the only thing. If only I case walk to walk this to bar, I can have one more. Mm-hmm. One. <laughs> we walk, no. I don't have to drive. Fine. We're getting hammered. Number five, <laughs> bringing a reusable water bottle with you to avoid using plastic. 
There's a lot of people that enjoy I, doing that. You know what? I, if I did that, I probably would feel better about myself. <laughs> oh, yeah, you don't. Yeah, it's like, great. No, Miles' no. way of saying, I don't do that. <laughs> I don't exactly. do that. Yeah, and that one of those, too, is just like, I don't know. I, it's just like everybody has a water bottle now. Yeah. Right. It doesn't seem that crazy that you have one with you. No. But would you say that you enjoy doing it? No, you it enjoy just makes sense. What, right. I enjoy masturbating. I don't enjoy right. bringing a water bottle. It's just, it is what it is. And now, once again, I don't have to buy a pallet of Dasani at Costco. <laughs> now I just have this water bottle that I fill up with the nice water that we have here. Ten eco-friendly things that we actually enjoy doing. Number four, flattening cardboard boxes. No, I do not enjoy that. It's a pain in the ass. Yes. Because the box is normally too big for the little thing that's in there. Right. On. And half the times, I got to break the box down even more. I got my box cutter that I got to cut the box in half. Yeah. Because it's mean, too big for my I like, I do like I do like punching the little pillows, the air pillows. Those are fun. That's fun. That's because you're getting your frustration, frustration out about, about the fact. multiple times with a knife. You know, because <laughs> you're getting your frustration out. Cause I like breaking break down, down the box. Yeah. I like to break down the box. Because yeah, he did. And then if there's a box in there that's not broken down, I judge. Because <laughs> it's taking up yeah, too much space. Too. Too. Yeah, I do too. Because I took the time to do it, like you said. Now this thing is unnecessarily full. There's air in here that should be you jerk number three remembering to take reusable bags with you to the store do you enjoy remembering to take reusable bags to the store Kinda i get frustrated i get frustrated because i keep forgetting to bring them into the store put them in the back of your car and i just have try to remember yeah, to but you them. still get to the store it's correct like, am i gonna walk right. back out no nope, here's another okay. nickel a bag and you don't think about it until you're almost to the checkout line it's like dad god i left the well, bags typically i'm a one bag or two bag uh trip guy so i just take yeah. two and i'm good to go yeah number two turning off the lights when you have a uh, when you leave a room that's a 70s yeah. thing, man. That was ingrained in us a long time ago because of a crisis in energy. No, but I've never had more fun doing anything. You know whose thing it's not? Motel 6. <laughs> <laughs> Don't turn the lights off. <laughs> Make us liars. And then the number one thing is recycling. <laughs> it's not fun. i got to take it down tonight. I think it's fine. <laughs> you know, it's like, like you do it, world. but like I wouldn't do it. But I'm right. not like, whoa, like, I know you're not working down on that. Driveway with my recycling, yeah. I know you're not working on this, but ironically enough with that list, today is Earth Day. It is indeed. Yeah. Earth. Yeah. You nailed it. Yeah. Uh, a happy couple in Florida hosted their wedding at a beautiful mansion, but there was just one problem. What was the problem? I'll tell you about it one hour from now. Thank you, my cock. Headlines are on the way one hour from now. In the meantime, have we made it to drinking time? Yeah, bang on. Yeah. 